Because that's just a tip of the ice. unattended and if we are groped we should be flattered instead of offended we see the objectification of women in the media every day I can count 50 abusive moments in 50 shades of gray there were 50 abusive moments during the trial of Gian Gomeshi it's an invitation for assault if we are dressed too sexy Robin Thick taught us that the lines are pretty blurred you know you want it are his chart topping words when Justice Camp begged the question, why didn't you keep your knees together? We begged the justice system to hold him accountable and do better. And now the standard is clearly drunks can consent, like being sexually assaulted was something the victim could prevent. We will hold you accountable for perpetuating rape culture in a court of law. Laws built on ancient concepts of a woman's rights should be outlawed. If someone is too drunk to say yes, they are too drunk to say no. This is a concept anyone in a courtroom should know. 
We live in a society that promotes rape culture and then teaches women not to get raped. So we are told when we drink to take a taxi home to be safe. But what happens when we follow all of these oppressive guidelines? Victim blaming, not guilty verdicts, and our names erased from the headlines. We don't need judges and lawyers to give consent for us. It is evident that you can't say yes if you are unconscious. For every thousand sexual assaults reported, three are found guilty. Court proceedings are oppressing women's realities. Sexual assault is being written off as a misunderstanding. Reports and court cases are being grossly mishandled. Men are coming inside of us like we are unlocked cars. But we will start revolutions with our invisible scars. Rape culture is an epidemic that power and control has created. It impacts our most marginalized citizens, the wealthy, the poor, and the incarcerated. It affects women, men, trans, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and straights. It affects black and indigenous women at disturbingly high rates. This is everyone's problem, and we must stand collected. Rape culture is a disease, and we are all infected. To my fellow survivors, to all people who have been silenced, in honor of Retea Parsons and Amanda Todd, in honor of the courageous woman who has brought us here, to anyone who is struggling to heal, to all women who have been press, oppressed in a system designed to uphold, to those who have tried to find justice in a system that is rigid and cold, we offer unwavering strength and solidarity. We must rip to shreds rape culture and gender disparity. The law has failed to validate what so many survivors have been through. So let us march today and shoulder this burden together and know that we believe you.
my phone. I hope that's okay. Woo! <laughs> 